It's 2023 and it's easier than ever for anyone to become a VTuber. That means you. Yes, you, dear viewer, can become a VTuber just like me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alex. I've been a VTuber for over a year and I've been active in the community for even longer. This video will take you through everything you might want if you're interested in becoming a VTuber. Also, I assume that if you're here, you have the money to spend on all custom assets or you can make them yourself. If not, I recommend checking out my how to become a VTuber for 100% free video in the description below. First of all, to be a VTuber, you don't need anything special. Technically, if you use an avatar and you make content, you're already a VTuber. For avatars, what the vast majority of the community uses or intends to use at some point is called a live 2D model. It's what I use, it's what most agency VTubers use, and they're generally considered to be the standard VTuber avatar. I get asked all the time, what app did you use to make your model? Because people assume it's like a dress up app or something. Nope, these bitches take a lot of communication and usually a lot of money. Side note, there are options other than live 2D models, but there's too much to cover in this video. So I'll make another the one soon. Or if you want to hear a simplified version of your options, go watch the video I mentioned earlier. The process of getting a live 2D model is different for everyone, but I'm assuming you want to take the route most VTubers take when it comes to this. There are ways to do this yourself, but it takes a lot of time, skill, and scuff. So typically, this is how you get your hands on one. First, you want to find yourself a live 2D model artist. I found mine by searching something like live 2D model art commissions on Twitter and scrolling down forever until I found my wonderful artist. You can also find them on other social media, Fiverr, or Etsy. If you're having trouble finding someone, I recommend going to the websites vtuber.gg or vgen.co since they're less saturated and you can see their work and prices more clearly. Once you find your artist, you'll want to read their terms of service to make sure you understand what you're getting into, then politely reach out with your design and ask if they'd be willing to make the art for your model. Be prepared to put money down up front since a lot of these artists are scared of getting scammed and they may require that. If you don't have a design, look for an artist who can design a character for you. Many live 2D model artists offer character design services for an extra fee, and they'll communicate with you to create the design for your character before working on your model art. The process for each artist differs, but usually they will send you progress throughout to make sure you're happy with how it looks. This last thing you need to know about model art is very important. Make sure you're sent a .psd file when you're done, and make sure that the file is properly separated into layers. If you don't have something that can open the layers of a .psd file, ask your artist to send a screenshot of the layers so you can make sure you're getting a file that can actually be rigged. Which brings us to the next step of getting a Live 2D model, getting a Live 2D rigger. Live 2D rigging is what makes your model's body move. The process of finding one is similar to finding an artist, and some artists also do rigging for an extra fee. I've personally always done my own rigging, so I'm not super familiar with the process, but I'd imagine it would be similar to reaching out to an artist. Send them the PSD file, make sure they can work with it, let them know if there's anything special you need the model to do. When you're done with the entire process, slap your model files into VTube Studio, and boom, you've got a functioning VTuber model. Some of this process can be a little bit difficult, so feel free to ask for advice in the comments or look up another tutorial on your specific problem. All right, so you've got your avatar. You're officially a VTuber. What's next? Remember that none of these are required to be a VTuber, but if you're putting a budget together and want some ideas, keep watching. One thing a lot of VTubers want for various reasons is art of their character. I personally recommend getting one or two pieces done to start out, one to use as a profile picture, and one so you have a reference of your character that isn't your model. While you can find these artists on social media, Fiverr, Etsy, etc., the option most people go with is Skeb. I can't link to it in the description because the website can contain spicy art, but that's off by default. Skeb is a website that lets you pay money to request high quality artwork from Japanese artists. Usually these artists have art that is very affordable for the quality, but the drawback is that you can't communicate with them throughout the process. They have an amount they charge per piece, you send your references and explain what you want them to draw, the website translates your request for the artist, they choose if they want to take the commission or not, and if they do, they have a certain amount of time to get it done before your money is refunded. I've gotten some amazing works from Skeb, but I've also waited several months for art, only for the artist not to do it in the end, which is super frustrating. Make sure you're looking at their completion rate, the time it takes to accept their requests, and the time it takes them to finish each piece before making your decision. Some character art and a model is enough to hold you over on your social media for a while, but the vast majority of VTubers are streamers and also get custom stream assets. You don't need custom overlays by any means, but if you want them, you can find tons of artists to make them on Twitter and Fiverr. These will be the backgrounds to your streams and help with creating a mood or enhancing your brand. If you do a lot of chatting streams, you might want to find someone to draw a room for your VTuber. Fun fact, I got scammed on Fiverr trying to find someone for this, so be careful. At least it got my money back. As a gaming streamer though, my bedroom is not super useful since nobody ever sees it, just uh, ignore that you're looking at it right now. You might also want some custom background music. 
There are tons of free tracks out there and probably even more tracks you can pay to license and use in your streams. But custom background music is really fun. I got mine from my personal friend Charm Carver, but you can also find someone, surprised, on Twitter or Fiverr. You want a logo? I bet you want a logo. VTuber logos are super unique and can add some cool flair to your brand for stuff like merchandise. Twitter, Fiverr, Etsy, you know, probably Instagram too. Emotes for Twitch or YouTube or your Discord server or to send to your IRL friends to remind them you're a loser with 500 YouTube subs? Don't trace them, that's bad! You'll never guess where you find them. Also, you don't get emotes, sub badges, or channel points until you hit affiliate on Twitch. Thought I should mention that? If you stream on Twitch, you might want some panels. These may or may not come with your overlays. If they don't, you'll have to ride at dawn in order to reach the mountaintop by the time the sun disappears over the horizon. You'll then perform the ritual atop the highest peak in hopes the goddess has heard your prayers. Or you can find them on Twitter or Fiverr. Schedule templates, channel singers, character sheets, custom throwables, microphones, desks, and chairs that fit your brand, silly little alert animations, fancy starting and ending soon screens, debut trailers. I think that's everything you could possibly want as a VTuber. I think that's it. I, you know what, just look up what you want on Twitter or something, but I'm sure I missed something and you guys will let me know in the comments. To be honest, what you decide to get as a VTuber completely depends on your budget, your preferences, your content, and your brand. Once you've gone through the process of commissioning a few artists, it's really not hard to figure out how to do the same thing for different assets. Finding the right person to make each of your assets can be difficult, but if you power through, I'm sure there's someone out there willing to make something perfect for you. It might even help you to look for people who may not make things specifically for VTubers. I hope I can give you some good ideas on what to put on your VTuber shopping list and how you can use some of these in your personal brand. Will you be debuting as a VTuber? Let me know down below. If you want to ask me questions live, make sure to follow my Twitch, and I'll be back with more VTuber tutorials soon!